we are back. Sorry, my timer had said, um, yeah, you need to move on. Uh, again, remembering that uh, YouTube only gives me 10 minutes. I'm really, really want somebody out there to tell me, am I doing something wrong? I am not. You know, I can do a lot of things in the computer. And I don't consider myself ignorant when it comes to it, but there's just certain things that I just don't understand, obviously. And this is one of them. Everybody else seems to be loading videos that are longer than 10 minutes, and I can't. And I went to my account, and it says, yes, I'm allowed to load up, uh, you know, 15 minutes worth at a time. But it doesn't. Even if the video that I made, it's, you know, like... Um, 10 minutes and one second it'll throw it out it'll say uh, you know it'll go to 9.57.58 and then the rest you have to kind of load it up again in a different video so maybe I just don't know what to do so if uh, yes I'm going to beg anyone can tell me whether I am doing something wrong or yeah I'm not that technologically um, savvy on that this is my deal not being in a computer so I kind of have to learn what I just need to get by <laughs> so that would be me wow I cannot believe I spent 10 minutes talking about just about myself and what I like or don't like sorry but going back to our project here you have it it is all done on my part I decorated the way I wanted to um, yes a little different sorry give me let me move those a little different from the original nothing wrong with it it's just I just you know had other papers that call me and that's what I used and um, so there you have it it's just a tiny bit bigger that's all but it is a beautiful box beautiful um, present that you can make for somebody else and let's start by looking at it inside I know um, I, I think I talked to you in the previous uh, video video not, not number six for the tutorials this is the one I was talking about description of you know what we made what we did and used um, on this one I just truly just wanted to improve and I think I, I accomplished accomplished that and I talked to you about you know when we had those breakage in the foldage of the chipboard I used that seven gypsies tape and just you know put it kind of everywhere and I did it you know asymmetrical so it's not to look perfect but it looks like I don't know like a box that has been traveled all over the world and has been stamped and and dirtied and handled and I kind of like that look so um, that's what I went for and since the adhesive that a 7 tape, tape comes with it's not strong enough to stay and really take care of a, a chipboard that is kind of heavy I just use the same glue that we use that wet glue that uh, tacky glue it's really really thick and just with my own finger I would just put it inside wherever it was lifting I would just kind of bring it in in until it got dry and this is your result look at this I think it looks really nice nothing is lifting and everything is very firm and it closes just the way I wanted it to close um, I can say that I'm missing anything to the contrary I still believe this is done with a little better quality than my original so um, I'm going to go with that idea so that's what I did that the tape after that I did a little bit more distressing with um, stays on I used a saddle brown that's one of my favorite colors so I put it everywhere and I did another coating of um, of the medium uh, the studio medium matte gel so I did that and then after that this is, is really about decorations okay um, I this is Sissix die comes with this bird and this bird too okay it's in the same die uh, let me see if I can get it here give me just a second this one right here that's the one that I use so I did cut both of them in uh, a medium chipboard 
and then I did uh, put a kind of heavy coat of embossing powder and melted it and then I used a um, stamp to create the pattern and let me show you this I believe this is the stamp that I use I don't know whose is it I'm really bad um, it's by Inca Doodle, I think, or something like that. Uh, my glasses are not that great, but anyhow, this is the one I used to engrave some of the script. And I was looking for the little steampunk uh, wheel right there, and it just came out kind of good. This is actually a butterfly, but you really can't tell, huh? It just looks like it was purposely, um, excuse me, put there for the feathers. Same thing over here. So that's how I accomplished this and accomplished. And that's the same thing that I have going on on my blog, that information about my um, uh, pressed or what is it, press and embossed, like a double embossed um, type of um, technique. So that's what I used in here. Um, this is a heart that I had made really, really long time ago. Like I'm talking about a couple of years, if not more. Sometimes I've created little things like that and I go, you know, that's not what I wanted. But I save them and I go, you know, I think that's going to fit somewhere perfectly. And I finally found a place for it. So I hope you can see that. It's kind of an asymmetrical heart. And I wrapped it around with um, black wire. And it has different collage papers. Not papers, but different colors. Some of them metallic. So kind of, it just went there, okay? It belonged there. I did find a piece of excuse me a piece of paper that it was kind of um I don't know vintage and it looked me and it reminded me of a, like a letter from the old times that you have used to have the stripes you know this is air mail um, so I cut it into a thinner um, strip and I just kind of overlapped it to is to create this little um see if you can see those those little um I'm just gonna uh, pockets but like tunnels and then through them I pass this little chains um, so yeah that's just my crazy idea I don't know where that came from but I liked it I like how it came out together and um, I don't plan these things they just happen at the moment and I liked it and then I had this leftover this was a leftover from when I covered the inside of this box. Remember when we lined the inside, that extra piece that we had to cut off because it was too long? That's this piece, okay? So I just kind of wrapped it in an angular manner and it gave me this um, kind of, um, what is the Italian word for that pastry? Um, is it canoodle? I don't know, I think I'm, I'm going to murder it. But anyways, it's just kind of a, like a straw type of, um, that you can eat them. And it's a straw at the same time. I don't know how, to, I think it's canoodles or, I don't know. Anyhow, so I wrapped some wire around it, kind of um, twisted it within itself. And then I cut those little tags. So that's how this came about. That's how this crazy style came about. And then I just put two dominoes, two little baby dominoes in there. And it's finished. Okay, so we're done for this part. So I hope you have enjoyed it. And I don't know whether I put this tutorial out there or just do pictures. Because there's just a lot to swallow. But thank you for sticking out there. And here is my final product. Thanks so much. Enjoy. Bye.